you know what I think of Andrew Tate. I think he's a very dangerous man. I think he's especially dangerous because he's diagnosed the cultural ill correctly. He has accurately identified the fact that our culture attacks men and masculinity, demonizes men. But what he offers as a solution to this, he prescribes poison. He tells young men that they should embrace materialism, pornography, exploitation of women, and worship of self. And that is so, so destructive. It's extra destructive because he's diagnosed the cultural problem correctly. So he doesn't come off as woke. However, however, I've long suspected this. I've just been waiting for the evidence to bubble to the surface. And so it did in the last 24 hours. Andrew Tate is actually woke. You heard me correctly. Andrew Tate is actually woke. And there's proof of that in a tweet that this is, this is what's called a subtweet. For those of you who aren't super embedded in the Twitter culture, although I know most of us are, a subtweet is when you tweet about someone without with, by a vague reference. You don't tag them, you don't say their name, you don't give information, but everybody knows you're talking about them. So Andrew Tate sent a subtweet about me. Andrew Tate tweeted, I think she wants me. My reaction to this tweet when I saw this, this tweet, hours and hours after, after he tweeted it, someone pointed it out to me, I laughed. I cracked up. This is the funniest thing that I've ever seen. This, Andrew Tate is literally AOC. He has turned himself into Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez because you'll remember, journey back just a couple years ago, uh, AOC was on vacation in Florida, maskless, during the COVID lockdowns that she supported in New York. Of course, those lockdowns didn't exist in Florida. So the hypocrite AOC, the politician that wanted to lock you down, ran away to the free state of Florida. And conservatives on Twitter at the time were rightly calling her out for her hypocrisy. They were also noting at the time that her boyfriend was dressed in some kind of hideous man sandals that no man should ever wear, no person should ever wear, let alone a man. And this is what Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez responded to the criticism that she should not be she should not be locking people down in New York or supporting these lockdowns and herself escaping to Florida where there weren't lockdowns. She said, if Republicans are mad, they can't date me. They can just say that instead of projecting their sexual frustrations onto my boyfriend's feet. And to say that she was ridiculed for this tweet, for this, it's, it's, I don't even want to insult high school girls by saying that this is something a high school girl would say. To say that she was ridiculed for accusing every conservative who identified her hypocrisy in running away to a free state when she wanted New York to be locked down. And her response was, well, your criticism must mean that you love me, must mean you want to date me. This was the funniest thing that most of us had ever seen. Well, apparently, Andrew Tate has turned himself into Andrew Ocasio Tate. Apparently, Andrew Tate is woke. Apparently, Andrew Tate's the new AOC because this is his defense. I make factual observations about what he's preaching to young men, and this is his defense. To call him a snowflake would be too much of a cliche. This is, this is why Andrew Tate is dangerous. Andrew Tate is dangerous because he's clever. Andrew Tate is dangerous because he's charismatic. Andrew Tate is dangerous because he is, he is preaching one message that the majority of society refuses to talk about, something that's unpopular, something that's taboo. He identifies that men are feminized in the Western world. And he identifies accurately that this is a very bad thing. This is bad for the individual souls of men. This is bad for families. This is bad for relationships. This is bad for our society as a whole. This is bad for our country. This is bad for the world. Men are supposed to be men. They're supposed to be strong. They're supposed to be leaders. They're supposed to beget respect. They're supposed to provide for their families, protect their wives and children, procreate, repopulate the world. They're supposed to be men. They're not supposed to be women. And Andrew Tate's dangerous because he draws in young men by empathizing with their grievances, empathizing with their reality. You don't even have to be politically active. A young man doesn't have to be politically active to feel this assault. And it became even more prominent during the Me Too movement when young men were told that they're basically rapists if they're not trained out of it. And that if a woman makes a false allegation against them, then her allegation is equal to his conviction. This is a terrifying reality for young men to exist in. Yet, this is what young men face. So Andrew Tate comes along, tells them, you know what, society is wrong. You don't deserve to be treated like that. You be the man that you can be. And who wouldn't turn to him? Who wouldn't turn to him? But let me tell you, he's a fraud. He's so much a fraud that he's actually woke. I'm gonna show you a tweet that he retweeted on his Twitter that substantiates this point even further in just a second. Okay, so Andrew Tate retweeted a guy 
who, and I'll just read you this tweet before we, before we provide any commentary on it. This tweet is from a man named Soleimane Ahmad, and it says, Andrew Tate attacked, you can travel the world, adopt certain ideologies, or identify with different groups, but ultimately, at the end of the day, they will recognize that you are not white. In Tate's case, he's both black and a Muslim. For them, it doesn't matter if his mother was white. Along with jealousy and a fear of losing their position amongst their own ideological circles, this is the reason behind the targeted attack. This is not simply a fan of Andrew Tate who tweeted this. This is not something that just emanated from the bowels of Twitter. This is something that Andrew Tate retweeted, which means when you retweet something, it's not always an endorsement, but generally you retweet something either because you're going to add commentary to it to contradict it, or because you want to amplify the message because you find it interesting or intriguing, or you believe what was said in the tweet is true. The latter is certainly the case when it comes to this tweet and Andrew Tate's retweet. So what does this mean? This means that Andrew Tate is regurgitating just outright woke talking points. So suddenly he's the victim based on his skin color, his heritage, and his religion. This is the the wokest, most leftist narrative that I can possibly imagine. Andrew Tate's woke. He's a fraud. He's pretending to be a G or whatever it is he calls himself. He's pretending to be red pilled. He's pretending to fight against to fight against the powers that be. But is he? Is he really? Or is he actually propagating the destruction that they're propagating, just in a different way? All the Tate Bros that are watching this should take stock of this. If if you're an honest person and you want to be an independent thinker, you should give this some consideration. Is Andrew Tate being honest with you, or were you lured in? by some truth that he told and then sold a package of poison. Do you think pornography is good for you? Do you think that makes you more of a man or do you think that weakens you? Damages relationships, damages your family, hurts women. Do you think materialism is fulfilling? Material items are just inanimate objects. You can't take them with you. Exploitation of women, that's the opposite of masculinity, the opposite of being a man. You are not a man if you exploit women and worship of self, let me tell you something. In two generations, nobody will remember your name. And I don't say that to make you feel less special or less unique. You're a child of God. God always knows your name. But history is fleeting. We're vapor. We're dust. Worship of self means nothing. Well, what means something is eternity. And if you worship yourself instead of God, then let me tell you, you're risking eternity. Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.